Hello, this is Thomas Novaso from Orbit Above Games, and I am the and I am in charge of actual plays here at Orbit Above Games, as well as game design and everything. And I will be playing Cthulhu Dark with three lovely people I met on Reddit today. Um, I have Justin, I have Hello. Corey, hi, and then I have Aubrey. Howdy. Now, um, as it is Cthulhu Dark. Um, it's very rules light. Um, insanity is like the only statistic there is besides occupation. And I will just do a quick intro to what the setting is, and then I will introduce characters. Um, it is 2004. Um, security has gotten pretty tight at the at the resort, uh, the Whispering Springs, uh, named after the the three little. Three little cricks that uh, kind of flow down the mountain. Um, uh, Whispering Springs Resort security's gotten pretty tight after 9/11 and everything, and uh, but that still doesn't mean teenagers can't have fun, and it doesn't mean that uh, that uh, people that work there are going to be have less fun. Um, so. Um, it's a classic ski resort, uh, Vermont mountains, northern Vermont, um, and it's modern day setting. So, Justin, what is your character, and why is he here? Um, my first character's name is Abraham Tobia. Abraham Tobia. Um, he is the guy in the mascot costume, and he is 53 years old. He's been doing this a long time. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Corey's next. All right. Um, my character is Mariana Martinez. Um, she's a housekeeper um, slash maid. Um, yeah. Do you want us to describe them or? Uh, sure. If you want to, whatever you want. Whatever okay. you're comfortable well, she, with. I mean, well, okay. She's like a second generation Latina. Um, she's kind of young, uh, but she tends to uh, dress much younger. Um, when she's not working. So um, she's kind of like short of temper and extremely like curt when she speaks. Um, and she also despises her job. Okay, and finally we have Aubrey. All right, my first character will be Steve Ranger. He's taking a vacation in Vermont off from his studies. He uh, works as one of the rental clerks handing out the ski gear. And, uh, you know, he's a very good old down-home southern boy. I talk kind of like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, we are going to start out. You guys have been all been working here for at least a little bit amount of time. Um, some of you more than others. Obviously, the mascot guy, he's been working here for a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> he will probably be buried on the mountain. Um, <laughs> Born here, die here. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys all know that you guys have all run across him throughout your time at the resort. His name is Mr. Hamilton. He's this shady character who everyone idolizes as being a big moneymaker, one of the big sh movers and shakers here at the resort. Now, uh, some of you see him sometimes, and some of you see him not sometimes, like... He's hard, he's hard to miss, but you know that it kind of gets confusing after a while because you don't see him as much. Um, he usually dresses in a big, a big fancy blue suit um, to match the sky, and he's very uh, eccentric. So, uh, you guys have all been... What would you say you're doing right now, Justin? It's a normal day on the ski resort, probably Friday. Smoke break. <laughs> All right, Corey, what are you doing? Uh, well, she's probably um, trying on other people's clothes in their hotel rooms while they're out. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think that's illegal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, Steve Ranger, the rental clerk, what are you doing? Staring at the snow, wishing I was out there on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. All right, um... Uh, we'll start with Justin. Uh, I'm just going in order of whoever's on my screen first. So, fair enough. Um, Justin, you get a phone call on your, or uh, you get a radio call on your walkie-talkie or whatever you use on the mountain, and uh, it says, and he pretty much says, uh, "Hey, uh, 
Abraham, oh. uh, we, we kind of got a problem down here. Uh, is there any uh, way? Did some kid vomit on on the seats again? No, no, no. You're not in charge of that anyways. You just take pictures with them. All right. Um, you're, you're a mask guy. They smell. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> right. He... he... He just gets silent for a minute, <laughs> trying to hold back laughter. And uh, well, a Abraham, uh, the b the head boss, the head honcho, he wants you down in the down in the cave right now. Uh, you all know the cave as being the basement of the resort. That's where the offices are. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Not ominous at all. Yep. So they want you to come down to the cave right now. How about that? I flick the cigarette out, like, and throw it into the, into the, um, the overpass and just sort of walk in. <laughs> All right. Um, next we have Mariana. Um, you hear on the walkie on your cleaning cart. It, okay. it starts buzzing and beeping. She would probably sigh like, <laughs> and, like, just kind of walk out with, you know, her jewelry or whatever that she's not even hers. Uh, and she would answer the walkie-talkie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Mariana. <laughs> we, we, what do you want? <laughs> we, we need you down in the cave right now, huh? Head honcho, Mr. Hamilton, he, he needs help. Oh, okay, okay, I'll be down there. <laughs> and how do you <laughs> end your... Talk okay, to you. so uh, she just kind of like runs back in the room and like gets dressed back in her maid outfit, and uh, yeah, she'll she'll go down. All right, and then finally we have Steve Ranger, rental clerk. Um, you see your buddy? He has his walkie, and uh, he gets buzzed, and he says, "Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, all right, we'll be right there." I said we'll be right there. Oh my god. Alright, bye Steve. Well, I'll see you later there, friend. <laughs> no, Steve number B. So sorry, man. Uh, I, I meant there there's more than one Steve that works here. Alright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not to disappoint you, buddy, but uh he he looks at you while he's like polishing the ski blade and he just puts it down and and puts up the close sign, like, be back in fifteen minutes. And he says, Alright. Come on, Ranger. We gotta we gotta go down to the cave right now. All right then. Well, let's close up shop and head on out now. Can't keep the boss man wait. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> All right. Following the story. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm gonna say Abraham starts off with two sanity because he's grizzled, instead of one like normal. Okay. All right. Because <laughs> I'm because I'm smart. <laughs> Cause he's a little whack. <laughs> he. All right. He walks up to the children. Hey, you want to get your picture taken with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he doesn't speak. He just has like a recording of just like some like some people of like just the actual um of like the people who actually do like the um the the ah uh, yeah I can't speak. Um, he has a recording of um. Of the shows and stuff, so he just plays it so that he doesn't have to speak. <laughs> Some yeah. kid asks a weird question. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. I <laughs> interpretive <Me>. dance. <laughs> you just rewind it to each individual yes. word. Okay. I've got um, it memorized. You guys all meet up in the hallway, and uh, in the hallway right outside the help desk. Um, that leads uh, down to the stairs to the basement. And uh, is there anything you guys want to say to each other? You guys have met before, like bumping around, but uh, that's about it. Uh, Mariana would probably like look at uh, Abraham and be just like, like shake her head, like, oh no, not this guy. <laughs> he growls at you. <laughs> okay. Um, is that it? Or does... Not friendly, not friendly, not friendly like my companions. All right, um, you also meet uh, Steve B's there. Um, uh, he's out in the hallway. Steve B, Steve Bertram. 
he's pretty cool. Sometimes. Not all the time, though. He's he's a janitor. Um, and then we also have uh, Oscar. Uh, he's another one of the... He's one of the guys who uh, repairs things. He's pretty much the general handyman. Um, and then we got Kelly Vasquez, which... Uh, Mariana recognizes as another one of the maids. Okay. Um, she just looks up, looks to you and goes, Hey girl, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> you got anything good? Uh, no, not lately, but still keeping an eye out for that. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm strong to block one, I don't need no man. <laughs> alright, and you guys both head down, you all head down to the basement, and you see that the lights are on, and everything's nice. Not very, not a very cheerful office. Uh, it's pretty plain, boring. It's got gray carpeting, very thin carpeting, provides no support on the concrete. And uh, then we have uh, these styrofoam colored walls, and uh, same thing as the ceiling. Now, as you enter the office, um, you all are called into the meeting room, um, which is a generally a large, large room, which actually. Uh, raises up a little a few feet because it's under the band stage that they use for uh kind of like magic shows and stuff on the first floor um now uh you all see uh you all see johnny there johnny the rock he's uh another one of the spokespeople for the resort um he works with the mascot a lot uh, he's he's like the big skier around usually representing the place and he says, all right, all right, all right, let's hold down, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, uh, everyone cleaning over there, uh, Abraham, get over here, get over here. And, uh... <laughs> what about me, sir? Where do I need to go? You, you, you go over there, you go by, uh, by rentals and stuff. Um, you, you know, you know, you, you everyone else. Um, <laughs> he's not the brightest. Um... <laughs> As you put the mascot, dude, just like the lowest um, totem on the pole. Just like, <laughs> you put him right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 alright. First, do it. Wait, no. Questions are questions are after. Okay. Um, well, I've, I've gathered you all here today because Mr. Hamilton... Um, he'll, he'll be actually, uh, coming out of his office in a little bit, and he'll be, uh, discussing some things with you guys. Um, I know it's good, it's been a good year so far, it's been a great season, it's just the, it's just the beginning, man. Alright, so, we gotta try harder, work harder, and sell those tickets. Hey, days next week, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Abraham, yeah. <laughs> Go buy some more smokes. Mariana just, I'm... like, smiling her nails, like, not really paying attention. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mr. Boss Man, gonna bunker down real good. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, everyone gets quiet as there is a click of a door, and you start hearing footsteps. And uh, it seems like everyone that's in the room is starting to peer over towards uh, towards the doorway uh, fr that leads uh, back into the hallway of the office area. And uh, you just hear light footsteps. Tapping along the floor, and uh, he's a, and uh, a man walks in, and he's actually he's pretty heavy set. Um, he doesn't look like the slim Mr. Hamilton you recognize, but he's wearing the same suit, the same glasses, and he's got the same face. And yes. uh, he just looks at you and he says, "It, I'm sure Johnny said it all. I'm sure. And uh, wh whatever you're doing, you're doing a good job." And let's just hope for another great year next year. All right. All right. Um, now, I've called you all here because uh, we have a, a slight problem. Can anyone cover for, uh, for uh, what's his name? Uh, he looks over to the rock and uh, Johnny, and he goes, I don't know what the hell his name is. And Hamilton just... Just starts looking over in the crowd. Does anyone know where he is? Uh, what What's his name? Uh, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. And uh, everyone seems pretty blank. Uh, uh, but what? Uh, Kelly Vasquez raises her hand and she's like, "Oh, oh, um, 
Oh, um, yeah, I, I haven't seen him around uh, ever, ever since, uh, ever since that electrical problem we were having after the thunderstorm. But, uh, you know, he should be back any time, right? Mr. Hamilton looks over, looks at the mascot guy and says, just smells, smells you and is like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Uh, yeah, jo jo Joseph, uh. Joseph is, uh, he's, he's, he, he, uh, we just need someone to cover for him right now. Uh, that, that's all. Jo Johnny, you can handle it from here, right? Johnny looks over and he, he seems puzzled and he just looks at the crowd and he's like, yeah, yeah, I, I guess, I guess so. Um, and Mr. Hamilton walks back out of the room. Uh, Johnny is just, uh, he's starting to get nervous. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, does, does anyone think they can cover for him, or, uh... What's he do again? I can never remember these kids. Oh, um, he was actually, uh, in charge of the, kind of, like, uh, he pretty much just, uh, he, he, ta he taught people how to, how to ski and stuff. He didn't teach me, because I taught him, but, because, you know, I'm good, but, uh... And uh, he ta he taught the children how to ski. He taught adults how to ski. He mostly ran the J bar. Do I look like I ski? <laughs> Roll for it. Ski. <laughs> <laughs> Were you being serious about the roll for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think Mariana is the type to uh, go. Any outdoorsy kind of deal thing. <laughs> okay. All right. She probably just, she's like, I wish I was at the mall. Ugh. Yeah, she's probably just like, I don't want to be here. I want to be in Burlington right now. Jeez. <laughs> Burlington Coat Factory. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Um, he looks around and he's like, All right, besides the peanut gallery, um, I, I don't mean that to be racist, by the way. Because. Um, that's what you guys do, right? Farmers, maybe. I I don't know. All right, but uh, he he looks around and he's like, "Can you can you do it, Abraham? Can can you run the J bar?" Nah. All right. Someone All right. has to cover. Someone has to cover the mascot duty, though. Nah, you can do both. I glower. <laughs> what do I roll to glower? <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling, this is my occupation, I'm rolling two sixes. Okay. I got a five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I glower very hard. Alright, everything humanly possible, you glower <laughs> with all your human might. <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> I can scare children and help them up the mountain. Urgh. My f <laughs> the fluffiness terrifies them more! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... All right, so we got Joseph covered. Now, uh, I guess I guess that's it. Every everyone, uh, get back get back to your stations. Uh, we closed the place for a few minutes, kind of put people on hold, forced them out of the building. They're probably getting cold by now, but uh, we can do this, guys. All right, um, Abraham, you start tomorrow. Um, J Bar is closed right now, so I guess that's it. And uh, everyone, we need to get back to our stations and stuff. Um, so. That's pretty much it. Um, we'll see you on the slopes or in the hotel or whatever, I, I guess. And he seems very uninterested, and he walks off. Ugh, finally. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I will have... Um, Justin, what are you doing to get ready for your J-Bar day tomorrow? Well, Abraham doesn't actually know how to ski. But he can't ask anyone, so he's just gonna... He's gonna learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Body slope all day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, as So you're probably going out on the slopes today in the mascot costume to kind of do some public relations and learn how to ski. Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, yeah, he doesn't want anyone to see his face. Alright. Um, He's a very bright man. Okay. Uh, as you're doing that, um, you're just on the slope. Um, you're going up the J-Bar, the bunny slope, because you obviously have the keys to it now. You just turn it on when you're at the bottom and then turn it off when you're at the top. 
<laughs> he smokes on the way up. <laughs> Daddy, what's he doing? Don't worry, son. <laughs> I, I flick some ash on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... He has a slot built into the mascot costume. Nice. Just for a cigarette. Okay, so... Um, as you're going up, uh, the J-Bar stops, and actually, um, it just stops in place. Uh, you're halfway up the little bunny slope, but it stops, and you're not sure why. You turn around, you look behind you, and, uh, it seems like no one's down at the booth, and no one's at the top of the booth, so... Um, Glower, smack the machine a bunch, stupid thing never works. All and right. How far? Wait. How far? Um. How close am I to the uh, ground? The. Well, the bunny. A J bar is actually you ride on the ground. It's just something oh. you sit on and you slide up the mountain. Oh, okay. I. Okay. For some um, reason, I assume you meant juice bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go singing. <laughs> I don't either. This is completely new for me. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm gonna slide down and turn it back on. So, because he's too, um, he is too lazy to actually just go up all the way. <laughs> that would inquire walking. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, his, he doesn't get the bonus dice for occupational whatever. No. He all gets right. his occupation dice for glowering and being um, gritty. Okay, you get to the bottom, and uh, you end up trying to start the machine. So, um, I'll say roll one dice to get it started. Okay. That's within human possibility. I rolled a one. I still make it because Cthulhu Dark. Well, actually, actually, I read the rolls earlier, and uh, you only, it's a success no matter what, but your degree of success uh, is dependent on what your number is. So, yes, you always succeed, but how well you succeed and what you succeed know. at determines on whether or not it's an investigation. I think it would be funnier if he failed. It ex Yes, if it just explodes. If it exploded. <laughs> okay, um, so I guess roll a dice, or you could risk insanity for it. Um, I wouldn't suggest that, for though. For no, sending it to roll. explode, or I'm confused what I'm rolling for. Um, I don't want, you know, I want a six to be an explosion, you know. But... Okay, so it's just how good the explosion is. Yes. <laughs> if, if it's like, you know, like a tube deck, pitcha. Well, Ab Aubrey, yeah, I, got All right, a, so... I got a two, so... Um... All right, Justin. Okay, I got a one, so... <laughs> yeah, you got a it's one, a bit. and then Aubrey got what? A two. A two? All right, so that's a one difference. So, yes, it just sputters a bit, some smoke comes out, fills the room, and you just start coughing and hacking as if your, like, lung problems weren't bad enough. <laughs> the cancer's getting to me now, finally. <laughs> Kid looks at you. What's that stuff coming out of his mouth? <laughs> Tobacco. <laughs> I spit in spit in front of a kid. I hate kids. <laughs> Worst mascot ever. All right, so that's what you're doing for the rest of the day after the meeting is just trying to fix the machine. Then, um, trying so to figure out how to get to work. No, as soon as I realize it's not, I'm not going to be able to fix it. I'm just going to go to the other slope. Ah. Just leave it, not even tell anyone. Okay. Um, yeah, you can go on to someone else, but that's basically what he's doing. He's just like, this ain't working. Next one. <laughs> and that is, and that is your first mystery. <laughs> All right. Now we go on to Mariana. Uh, she has moved on. She's come back to the room that she was not finished cleaning because she mm -hmm. didn't have time to finish it. And mm -hmm. someone is now in the room, uh, looking through all their clothes, and notices it smells like sweaty housemaid. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> okay, so um, so she walks in, and uh, can you describe the person? Uh, the person is uh, this uh, this young girl with blonde hair. It goes down to her a little below her shoulders, and uh, she's actually she's wearing like. Tight black skinny jeans and uh, a pierce the veil shirt, which is a heavy metal band. Okay, well, she'd probably walk in and just kind of be surprised, and then she'd be like, "Oh, I didn't know anyone was in here. Uh, did you not want me to clean the room?" Um, yeah, about that. Um, uh, did did uh did you go through my clothes? 
No. <laughs> Are you gonna sure have to challenge that? <laughs> there is. Uh, it just. It smells like. It smells like cleaning supplies and. All my clothes are covered in it. Like, uh, I, I I don't know what you're talking about. Do not blow your glass. I challenge. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Actually, she has to roll to see if she can lie. So. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So roll the lie first. Oh, I got a six. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. I guess she believes me. <laughs> um, she's very convincing. That is not true. If she rolls a six and she has a higher insanity, then would she would uh, succeed. Oh. Because if it's a tie, it's whoever goes to the who has who's crazier, basically. Okay. It's a, oh, it's, yeah. If the NPC rolled, yes. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I can. I challenge her though. Oh, okay. Like, challenge them. Go ahead. Yes. I got a one. <laughs> I can roll three <laughs> ones in a row. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll the oh. Dice. oh, there's a four. I need right. a new D6. All right, how do you lie your way out of this? Um, I believe Mariana would say something like, um, well, uh, I, I wasn't the one to clean your room before, so I can go get the other maid and try to figure out who was actually cleaning the room before. Yeah, th that work? That, that'd be good, that yeah. I, I, okay. And if you can't find her, um, I want to speak to your supervisor. Okay, I'll blame it on Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> okay, um, you leave the room, and okay. you turn around to kind of say goodbye, shut the door behind you, and you see no one's there. Uh, the, the, the girl is gone? Yeah, no one's oh. there. Okay, well, she'd probably be like, kind of like shrug it off, like that was really weird, but I don't think she would think too much into it. So she just kind of shrug and just walk off and like, you know, like push your little cart down. <laughs> All right, as you leave the place, um, the door swings open, it closes, and you turn around and you see the girl walk down the hallway. What? <laughs> okay, so she. Okay, I think she kind of do like a. a kind of like a second look, kind of like look back at the room and then see, so, because there's no way she could have been like down the hallway when she just saw her. Um, so I, I don't know, like, I don't know what she would do. I, could I do like, like some kind of role for something like that to kind of try to figure out like what the hell just happened or? Actually, yes, uh, sanity, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I just rolled a one die. Yep, roll one die, and if you get you, a, if you get above a one, one. then you gain a, one point of sanity. Insanity. Yeah. Right. Okay, I have a three. All right, you so gain yeah. one. So you're up to two insanity. That freaks you out a bit. Yep. A yeah, that's crazy. definitely a little weird. <laughs> How would you freak out? Um, would you like be paranoid and? I I think she yeah I think she'd be more paranoid and probably just like want to go gossip about it, <laughs> just to kind of like be like have you like probably ask maybe an other maids to see if like they had seen any strange occurrences because she's she's worked here a while and I'm assuming this is the first time she's ever seen something like this. All right, so um, you're off to see Kelly probably then to tell her sure. about it anyways. So all right, so you're off to see Kelly. <laughs> Um, now we're going to go on to Aubrey. Yes. Um, Aubrey, uh, Steve Ranger, is at the rental rental clerk desk kind of thing where uh, you're, you're in charge of the actual skis and snowboards. The other guy's in charge of the yeah. boots. All right. So, fair um, you're, just, you're just chilling there, uh, waiting for people to come in, and uh, you kind of hear the little bell ring. Because you were kind of like almost not enough, but uh, you hear the little ding, 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 and uh, you see a small child in front of you. Oh, well, how are you doing, little mister? How can I get you set up with some skis or maybe a snowboard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how how young is is he? Like three or is he like ten? <laughs> He's like ten, ten with black hair. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. He looks up to you and he says, "Yeah. Um. I just need boots." Oh, well, uh, that would be my partner over here. Uh, let me just escort you on over. 
All right, um, you lead him over, and uh, the the guy literally, like you, you kind of like lead him over. He he's behind you, and you walk over. Um, when you get there, uh, you're like, what do you say to the rental guy? Well, uh, this little boy here, he needs himself a nice pair of boots. What are you talking about, dude? What do you mean? What are you talking about, boy? There's there's no one behind you. Stop messing with me. I, you know. When I look behind him, what are you talking about? I don't... No one's there. No one... Darn it, that boy must have done wandered off back into the store. Let me go see if I can find him. Okay. Um, you walk back into the rental shop, and uh, you, as you're, as you exit the, kind of like the boot area, you go through the doorway, turn around the corner, and you end up where the skis are. Uh, you hear You hear footsteps, and then someone taps on your shoulder. Like, kind of like your back, more like, so. Like, like lower back kind of bit? Yeah. I don't know, it must be a boy. I turn around, there you dumb beast, son. Give oh, yeah, um, I, I went with you to go see the boot guy, but, uh, I didn't like him. I didn't like him at all. Oh, I guess he does look kind of creepy, but, you know, I don't inquire nothing about no man's past. Maybe I can help you out, son. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna go play in the snow. All right, All right, bye. Wee. Be careful, don't get frostbite. Mm -hmm. Scruffy the janitor. Like, Scruffy is my inspiration. <laughs> That's over half of the characters. Oh my god. <laughs> but just these like, um, just like these characters are like, mm, I don't care about anything. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to help that boy, but he done left me in the store. <laughs> take too kindly to people to do that. Okay. Um. Uh... So, that boy was kind of weird, um, but no need for a sanity check right now. Yep. Um, now, just because of story, I am going to go back to Abraham. Uh, you are on the main slope. Um, you've gone out of the main slope, and you've tried skiing. It didn't work too well for you. You are now in the actual uh, kind of like dining area where everyone, like the lounge. Okay. Um, you see there's no one in, and it's a Friday. Is there a bar? No, that's on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bar, then. Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so you head up to the bar. No one's in the bar room, either, except the bartender. Hey, give me a scotch. Y you know, you know you can't, you know you can't drink on the job, right? Sonny? I've been here for 25 years. I put my hands on the table. Just you're gonna get me a scotch. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm try to convince him. <laughs> Is this considered a part of my job? Yeah, you're pretty rugged. Okay. So. <laughs> Two dice. Roll for ruggedness. Roll for getting scotch. Five. You got, got a five. A yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, you make it. So. Um, he gives you a scotch very begrudgingly, yeah, and he's like, all right, but, you know, if you get caught by Mr. Hamilton, I, I, I you know, I, I, I can't I'm be held this. responsible. I'll punch you to make it look like I stole it. Does that sound good? Nah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, how about, how about, um, you take the rap for it, and I talk to you for a little bit. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm in scotch. All right, he hands you the scotch. <laughs> and he just walks back over to the bar and, like, turns around and starts cleaning glasses. Um, sit down. Hey, you know why no customers are in here? Why? It's, it's, why do you it's even talk in? It's one in the morning. There should be more people in here. It's not, it's not one in the morning. Oh, it isn't? I, no. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> You're too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already. <laughs> you just got it, but you've been you've been drinking on the job the whole day, so. Oh. Oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> That's what I assumed at least. So it I it's probably like late afternoon, uh, because you had the meeting earlier, so Okay. Um he's like, No, people are supposed to be in here. You drink too much. Jeez, old people. Boy, what you say? I chucked the bottle. No, I think I like lift it up to chuck it, but then I like put it back down. 
No Boy, purpose in have... wasting booze. <laughs> Boy, you'd be better be happy you're all the way across there. And yeah, I yeah, yeah. I can run faster than your furry little feet. <laughs> Boy, you watch your mouth. I'll talk to Johnny. I will. Yeah, yeah, because he, he can pull strings. No, no, he can't. He's he's like a little right-hand man, right? You know, just jerks off oh, Mr. Hamilton he's... every day. He he claims he can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He likes to think he's a big dog, but he's just like... <laughs> nobody actually likes him. All he's right. there because no one wants to fire him. All right, so you're hanging out in the bar, <laughs> talking to him, just trying to pick a fight kind of while you're just teasing each other back and forth now as we move on to Mariana uh, you are looking everywhere for Kelly and mm -hmm. you see you or you look everywhere for Kelly um, Kelly Vasquez and you start seeing her inside the actual lounge area she's starting to head up the stairs towards the bar okay so um, she will uh... Hello? Did you cut out? Or did hmm? I, cut out? I don't know. <laughs> still on the call. Did she? Okay. Uh, I just crapped uh, out or something. Maybe. Oh, no, she has the disconnect thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's that mean? Um, meaning she, like, her internet crapped out or something. Oh, okay. All right, we'll just wait for her then. Hopefully she gets it fixed quick. She's afraid of the old man with his with his booze bottle. No, no, no I have to interact with other people. I'm about to disconnect. <laughs> All right, actually, I will go on to Aubrey. Uh, All right. Uh, just because I can, because I'm doing kind of sections right now, I can always go back to her. Fair enough. Uh, until you guys actually meet up and start joining forces and shit. But uh, Steve Ranger is just... Uh, Please, call me Steven. Yeah, Steven. Uh, he's just... Uh, he's, work he's working his job, uh, but he's uh, getting kind of... Uh, kind of uh, weirded out. The same kid keeps showing up in the place, and so he decides to leave his post just to get away from him. Yeah, what a weird kid. Um, you actually... Um, are feeling quite thirsty. <laughs> you want alcohol. Uh, you know, I come from a good old teetotaling family. You know, I don't drink no alcohol, but I'm certain the bar probably has some pretty good teas. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you walk up. You've never been to a Vermont ski resort, have you? No, I have not. Oh, my God. Just liquor. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've been to a Tennessee ski resort once or twice. Wait, they ski in Tennessee? Apparently so. How? Well, there's like machines. three mountains. Yeah, they have snow machines and a couple of mountains. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Apparently. I've seen like real snow like four times ever. It snows for like a week, what? and then it doesn't. And then that's it, like mean? one time a year. I live in Georgia. It's hot oh, okay. and muggy. It's the worst. Uh, in the summer, I'm it's in... hot and muggy. In the winter, it's cold and dry. <laughs> I don't get a break nowhere. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so you... Oh, wait, I think I just got a message from her. Yeah. All right, yeah, she's trying to get back on. Absolutely. If you... Yeah, okay, there you go. I'll just call her back. It's all right, I had internet problems when I did my first recorded session, which kind of sucked. Yeah, okay. Wow, I don't even know what happened. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. So, um, you are going to, you're chasing after Kelly, um, mm -hmm. however, I moved on to Aubrey, uh, or, okay. uh, Stephen quick, because okay. you moved out, and I, and it's kind of sectionalized right now. He's thirsty, and he's heading to the bar to get a drink, and he bumps into Mariana and Kelly on the stairs. Why, hello there, Kelly. How are you doing? Mariana? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, what was your name again? Mm-hmm. Name is Steven. Don't you remember me? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Steven. Right, right, right. Steven. Yeah, yeah. Steven. Uh, yeah, hey, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm just going up to see if they got any tea over at that bar. 
Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, I actually have to speak with Kelly for a minute. So um, if you don't mind, I mean, I, uh, could I speak with her uh, in private, please? Well, absolutely. I'll just move on out of your way here. I appreciate it. All right, Stephen heads up to the bar and joins the mascot at a different table across the bar because he is drinking scotch by himself. <laughs> and smoking. You're yeah. not allowed to smoke in that, but he's still smoking anyway. Yeah. Um you walk up and uh you just you look you ask for some tea and he's like, We got yeah, we got we got green tea, I guess. I I can make some if you want. I ain't got no sweet tea boy. Oh, one one second. I think G Gary Gary did, did, did you make any did you No. Did did you make any sweet tea? Yes I did. Ah, oh, jeez, that, that guy is so weird. All right. Um, oh, Gary. He, he, Gary comes over with some sweet tea. He's got a bald spot and graying hair and a mustache. Gary sounds like a right young fine gentleman. He's about 63. He's a right young gentleman. Right <laughs> fine gentleman, whatever. He ain't young, but he's a gentleman. <laughs> okay, and we'll go back outside the bar to Mariana. Uh, okay. Yeah, wh what you want to talk about, girl? Girl, uh, I just saw the craziest thing. You will not believe it. Were her so panties extra large? <sighs> no, it wasn't anything like that. It was, I don't, I can't even explain it. Uh, I walked into the room, uh, and there was this, there was this girl there, and uh, you know, she, she, you know, asked me if I was going through her things, which of course I said no. <laughs> I mean, like I'm gonna admit to it, but oh, anyway, girl, anyways, you, you know where it's at. No, no, no. But anyways, uh, like, okay. So I I go back out of the room, and sure enough, I turn down the hallway, and there she is again. Like, there's no way that she, cause she, I mean, I know it was her. I mean, I know it was her. I saw her face and everything as she passed by. Did did you um, did you talk to her? No, no. I mean, I was I was kind of freaked out. I mean, like, that's like some weird stuff. I mean, I, I, I can't explain it. I really just don't know. Alright, girl, come with me. We're gonna go get a drink. Yeah, you know, I think we need one. <laughs> you guys, like, interlock arms and walk up the stairs in your heels. <laughs> <laughs> or flats, or whichever's yeah, more comfortable. Yeah, I think flats would be a more matey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stilettos. Uh, into the Stiletto carpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, Abraham and Steven, you both see the girls walk into the bar and walk up to the bar. What are you going to do? Uh, we'll go with Abraham first. Um, creepy looks, because I'm sorry, it's it's an old guy. He's He has to. Yeah, are are just... you still wearing the costume? <laughs> the body suit. The head's on the, the, head's on the, the, the um, bar, and it's just scotch and a cigarette in hand. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and now, Stephen, what are you doing? I'm gonna boozy on over to Kelly. Okay. Um, you, you, Mariana, you see, uh, you see a creepy old guy, <laughs> the mascot guy. You saw him at she, the meeting. She recognizes him immediately. She's <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so she'll go up to him and she'll be like. You know, I've had a question forever for you. What the hell is the mascot of this place anyways? <laughs> it, it's a bear. It's a pink bear. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what, isn't oh. that what you imagine? <laughs> um. Kelly looks over to you and says, you're drunk off your ass. It's a pig. <laughs> it what looks more say? like a pig. No, you're not a pig. The mascot's a pig. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> you're drunk, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Steven, what do you say to Kelly? Well, uh, hello, Kelly. I've, uh, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you for a while. Mm-hmm. 
She's chewing gum in her mouth, like the side of her cheek. You can obviously see her lips moving. Um, and she's like, yeah? So? Well, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I just got here, and I was wondering if you could maybe t teach me how to learn how to ski. Uh, you know that no one here knows how to ski, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, but, uh, yeah. All right. How do you how do you vision yourself, Aubrey, like as a person? Oh, God, you know that's a tough one. You know, I was thinking. Uh, let, me, let me think of someone who I absolutely I don't know. Jeez, it's a rough one. Uh, you know, we're gonna go with uh, fairly red hair kind of clear Irish background, uh, you know, fairly tall, wide build, kind of looks like a stereotypical kind of farm hand. Okay. If that... All right, yeah, that's believable. So, um, uh, she looks at you and she uh, just kind of like runs her finger down your forearm and is like, yeah, you got, uh, what, what'd you do before here? Well, uh, I done worked at my uh, family as farm. We, uh, we raised some chickens. Oh. Classy. <laughs> yeah, real. <laughs> <laughs> As a girl, well, you know I would say you I need? totally go for that. <laughs> you need a hard drink. Get a, get a beer for my friend here. <laughs> Bartender just walks over, like, gives him a beer, hands Mariana a drink, and hands Kelly a drink, and says, uh, yeah, just, just remember, there's a tab. And he walks back over and keeps cleaning glasses. Kelly looks over, takes a sip to you guys, and starts whispering, You know, I like to gossip. Oh, well, uh, my pappy done taught me never to talk about nobody I ain't around to hear it, so, uh, I, you know, I try to be respectful to everyone. Marianne's just, like, rolling her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mascot doing? <laughs> Drinking heavily. <laughs> I assume that's standard. Well, she Kelly grabs a firm grip of Stephen and just pulls him, pulls him over, sits down at the table with him, and says, uh, "Yeah, but uh, you know, I, you know about Joseph, right?" Didn't he? Didn't you say uh, he he disappeared during that electrical storm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he did. Uh, but uh, do you know what really happened to him? No, I can't say that I rightly do. I heard, all right, but I heard this from my sister's cousin, her boyfriend. Um, she 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 said uh, that he went missing on the slopes. Well, ain't nobody sent a rescue team for him. Poor boy could have been hurt. I don't care about that. Mariana, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make this interesting. Jeez. Jeez, Steven. God. Can't, can't let a girl gossip? Uh, I'll do better next time. I'm sorry. I, I guess it's kind of new to me. She giggles, laughs, and slaps your arm. <laughs> Leave me, boy. More people have died in those hills than, ever, than you'd ever know. <laughs> That's such an old person. Oh, God. <laughs> Mariana, don't, 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 don't you want to hear about Joseph? Uh, yeah, I want to hear about Joseph. Come on now. Yeah, that, he was such a stud. Oh my God. He had. Oh my he had, God. He yes. Had, he had a beautiful tan, big arms. Oh, you could tell he was a snowboarder. Oh, my favorite. Oh, all right. Um, but no, seriously, he went missing on the slopes. I. I think I figured out where he is, um, but... Where? Um, where you, could he be? You know, by the toll road. The road that goes up the mountain, spirals around it. Um, he's, like, near the lift, the the mid-lodge. You know, no one ever goes to the mid-lodge anymore, but they, they said, like, I heard he's around there now. Like, he's either working there or he went missing there. Like, that's what happened. Like, it's crazy. Um... I don't care. I have no idea what a mid lodge is. I'm sorry. Huh? It's like a lodge, like halfway up the mountain, right? Oh. Yeah, it is. It's a okay. middle lodge. It's literally halfway up the mountain. Okay. It's because was... uh, there's usually a lower lodge and then a mid lodge. Mid lodge goes from the t tippy top to the middle, and then there's a lift going from middle 
to bottom because middle to bottom is for novice skiers. Okay. Sorry, oh, I so probably should would... have explained that earlier. Okay, so there would be like more than just this Joseph guy up there then. Like yeah. there'd be like other skiers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there there'd okay. be actually people working there instead of just like oh nobody works there kind of stuff. It, like it would actually make reasonable sense for someone to work there, not just mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's probably just yeah, it's probably just a transfer or whatever. I I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm actually having some trouble at my house, so I'm probably gonna bunk in the, the resort tonight. I, 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 I could just take one of the room. my boss said, uh, I could just take one of the rooms that no one's using for the night, so, just, just don't use the hot water, I guess. Um, and Kelly is going to kind of just talk to all three of you, uh, my Scott begrudgingly, because... <laughs> He is such interesting conversation. <laughs> Every once in a while, it's like, you want some scotch? <laughs> More alcohol. <laughs> I'm gonna get him drunk. <laughs> Mary, I was just like, who's gonna get the tab? Like, I'm not getting it. <laughs> um, as the night goes on, uh, Kelly begins to describe uh, what's been going on at her house. Um, she got kicked out by her mom. Um, cause she lives with her mom right now. She used to live with her mom, but she got kicked out. Um, she's around the same age as Mariana, so about 25, 26, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and she got kicked out. Uh, she doesn't have any really close friends, so, and work is pretty much all that she has right now. So, she is spending the night at the resort. And, uh, she actually is getting kind of, she's kind of, she seems very nervous and scared. Now, all of you roll 1d6. I got a five. I got a five as well. Four. I like this dice. All right. So all of you seem to notice that uh, she's very jittery. She uh, seems nervous. Uh, her eyes dart back and forth behind you guys as if she's looking behind you. You and... need more alcohol. I give her a beer. Yeah, because you'd give her a beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is this, generosity? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You take no. the beer. <laughs> I th- I think about it, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, Mariana, what do you do? Um, I think she would kind of be concerned because I guess Kelly's kind of like a work friend. So um, maybe she would, you know, ask about it. Like, if she seems different or something. No, she... yeah, go ahead, ask. You Use a dice to roll to ask. Okay. I'll say you can oh. roll two because you're a maid and you gossip a lot. So yeah, I, I just got a two. <laughs> Oof! Out of both the dice. Oh, two dice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a seven. No, you don't add them together. Yeah, you, oh. you take the higher one. Yeah. Oh, six then. All right, that's good. That's good though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm learning. <laughs> yep, learning is power. Knowledge is power. Okay, so. Um, you, t- you no, nothing's wrong. Um, no, nothing. And she kind of covers her eyes with her hands and just, like, rubs them. I'm so tired. Ugh. Oh, okay. Well, um, I mean, if you, you sure nothing's wrong, I mean, why'd you get kicked out of your mom's house? I, I don't, I don't know. There was just a note on the table this morning, and, uh, she said she didn't want me to be there anymore. And then I got a weird voicemail, and, like... It's just, it was just her voice, and uh, she seemed angry and upset, but uh, she just didn't want me to be there anymore, so I kind of took the hint. Things were getting rough the last few months, so. Oh, okay, I see. I mean, I understand. I mean, parents are rough, I guess. Um, I guess just go get some sleep. I mean, you, I mean, if you're just tired, just go sleep it off, and uh, I'll come see you tomorrow. Uh, she looks around, uh, looks at the mascot, and then just kind of like shakes her head a little bit and then looks over at Steven and says, uh, hey, uh, could you stop by in the morning too? Uh, just, just, I, I need, I need friends right now, I mean. Well, of course, Kelly, anything to make sure you're doing all right. All right, all right, <laughs> bye, bye guys. Uh, what does the mascot do? Never had that happen before. He's just sort of in shock. <laughs> I roll sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do it. No, I'm not really saying Great, because I, I like that character. 
<laughs> then you shouldn't be playing Cthulhu Dark. <laughs> the entire point is like, well, this guy is dead. Next, let's look at the list. <laughs> All right. So, um, the night passes. Everyone goes home to their place, wherever they sleep. <laughs> sees their family, and uh, mascot sleeps underneath things. <laughs> well, yes. Like in, he in the never, place. he never leaves. <laughs> Exactly, that's what I'm imagining. Oh it my just gosh. hides away. He has like a closet. No, just under the table in the bar. <laughs> you know you gotta leave, right? <laughs> okay. Um, it's his main like communication is growling. <laughs> you guys all fall asleep, and you guys all have the same dream as well. Um, and I'm just going to describe it. Um, you guys all interact within the dream. Um, you each dream about each other in the resort. And, uh, you just, you just wake up and, like, you find yourself in your station. Like, Steven would find himself at the rental desk. Um, Mariana would find herself in someone's room cleaning a toilet. And then Abraham finds himself in the mascot costume at the bar. No, he actually... When he actually works, he's a good worker. Like, uh, he, yeah, no, he he's a, he's like, hey everybody, how we doing? And is actually excited. But well, when he's when he's not, he's just like. Mm. Well, it's it's uh, it's actually you don't know why you're in the bar, um, <laughs> but you look out the big windows and it's very dark. Like the room the room is lit with only little lights in the, in the ceiling. Not even all the lights are on. Um, Mariana, you, you find yourself uh, you find yourself in uh, kind of like the hotel situation of the resort. It's 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 next to uh, the help desk room and stuff. You're kind of in like the cleaning area where all the supplies are, the carts are, where you'd meet other people, your lockers, um, and only your locker is open, and you're just by yourself. Okay, I, I have a question. Are they actually, like, aware that they're dreaming, or is it they're not aware that they're dreaming? You guys dreaming? are all aware that you're dreaming. You know it's a dream. Okay, okay, I see. Otherwise, I would not have mentioned it. <laughs> but, <laughs> <True>. good <laughs> question. Um, and then, Steven, you find yourself at the, the kind of, like, uh, the rental desk. Um, you look over, and you're like, hey, anyone here? And uh, no, no one's there. Um, it's connected to the building as well. Um, so, I guess roll initiative, all of you. So all of you roll a d6 and then tell me what you get. A two. Alright. Oh, shit, my dice fell off. Hold on. A two. <laughs> Justin? Yes? What'd you get? I got a four. Oh, okay, cool. So I actually won. Oh, a one? I won. Oh, so okay. I got a four. Alright. So Justin goes first, and then I guess like, I don't know who wants left? to go next because you guys tied. Oh, um, uh, I, see how I, do. A, I got a three. Five, so I'll go next. All right. Dice, you suck for me. <laughs> All right. So Justin will go first, and then Corey, and then Aubrey. Okay. Oh, Justin. hey, look, nothing changed. <laughs> All right. So, um. Abraham, you're in the bar. It looks like it's nighttime. Uh, uh, what are you gonna do? The lights are barely on, and there's no drink in front of you. I'm gonna get a drink. Get a drink, sit down, smoke, and drink. That's what he does in in real life and in his dreams. That's all he does. Okay. Um. So you walk up to the bar, and there's no bartender there. So you just. What do you do? Hop it. All right, you hop over. Uh, you just just start mixing drinks, everything together. <laughs> yes. I call this one midnight surprise. And uh, more vodka. <laughs> no ice cubes. Those are filler. <laughs> vodka hard. All right. Um. So, I guess Abraham grabs his drink. He sits down, l lights up the smoke, closes his eyes, puffs in, opens his eyes, and he sees a black-haired little boy. Right in front of him, sitting at the table. You want a drink? <laughs> My daddy says I'm not allowed to drink. Well, he's wrong. I slide the, oh, the hard vodka towards him. 
Okay. Um. Uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> roll to see if you convince him to drink. <laughs> Is this a part of my job? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a dream. He's using dream logic. A one. Okay. Yeah, my daddy says I'm not allowed to drink. Uh, he takes a sniff of it. Um, and that's about it. Uh, he puts it back down on the table, and he, he's just like, Oh, I'm so tired. But you guys are tired too, aren't you? I'm always tired, boy. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna go see. Uh, I'm gonna go see Mariana then. All right. Um, you stay right here. Um, I'll be back in probably like 45 minutes. Mm. I sip the vodka. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the little boy exits the bar, um, and as he exits, uh, what remains of the lights flicker off. Okay. Oh, is that the end of the scene, or is this like they flick? They they flicker off. Okay. Um, I have my cigarette still. I'll use that to see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I, I imagine that he's still in costume, by the way. Okay. Even in his dreams. <laughs> this is life for me. He never leaves. Alright, um, the lights flicker, and they come back on, and you see the little boy in front of you again, and he says, Yeah, I'm back. Um, Mariana's not doing too hot. Um, she's downstairs, and, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, how, how long have you been working here? 25 years, 3 months. Oh, that's a long time. I count every day. Oh, that's not a good way to live. Sip the vodka. You know, you shouldn't drink so much. And he walks over and tries to grab the drink out of your hand. That is going to have to be a roll. Okay. Contesting roll. Small dun, child. Dun, dun. Is this a part of my... I'm spending willpower on this. Alright, alright. Roll your insanity die as well, then. Yep, okay. Um, Tell me which one gets highest. Yep. Uh, my insanity die actually does not have a 1. It has, It's blank. I like my, that d6. Nice. They both got 6s. Okay, um... I don't... I, one second, I'm not sure which wins that. <laughs> <laughs> alright, um... Um, suspense. I'll just say insanity, because that'd be more interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, the little boy takes the drink from you, and he, that's very... It wasn't... It, it was pretty hard, but he wrestled the drink from you and throws it on the ground. And he says, Daddy says you shouldn't drink, so you shouldn't drink. I think you're going to be next. Boy, what you just do? I'm going to pick the kid up. All right. Um, as you <laughs> lunge forward to pick him up... Um, you blink for half a second, and he's gone. And he says, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And you see him on top of the bar sitting now. Or you sit, get down off there. I'm going uh, <laughs> to have to talk to your daddy. All right. Um, the lights flicker again. That is the end of that scene. Let's move on to Mariana. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm insane. <laughs> yep, you're one point more closer. Dun, dun, dun. So you're at three now. Yep. All right, cool. You're winning. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mariana, <laughs> you find yourself. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, I sneezed. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I thought that was like a Hadouken or something. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Street Fighter in this play. <laughs> that did sound like some crying stuff right there. <laughs> Okay. Well, God bless you. Um, <laughs> Mariana, except there is no God in the story. Um, Mariana, you find yourself, uh, you're in, you wake up, and uh, you're rubbing your eyes, and you see yourself in the cleaning area where all the carts are, the locker room, um, and your locker is open. Okay. So... The lights are dim, by the way. All right, so um, she'd be like, okay, like I'm dreaming about work too. This is great. I don't, like I spend enough time there already. <laughs> um, so like she'll go to her locker and uh, kind of like it's open. So she'd be like kind of inspect it, see if anyone stole anything or something. I guess even in her dreams, it matters. <laughs> All right, uh, roll, I guess, 
2d6? Because I guess you would notice if something of yours got stolen. You're pretty paranoid-ish. Okay. So. so I take the higher one? Yep. Four. All right. Um, you notice that uh, everything seems in place. Um, okay. So you turn around, and there's a little boy right behind you. Uh, she'd be surprised, so she'd kind of, like, jump and, like, scream a bit. And be like, God, kid, who the hell are you? Oh, I, I, I just... I, I was just talking to the mascot guy. Um, yeah, he's not very nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, have you seen him? Yeah, I have. I've seen him, like, ever since he started here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, um, you're only, like, what, 10 years old? So that's kind of impossible. No, I am not 10 years old. I am not 10 years old. Oh, and he starts stopping, and he's he looks like he's about to throw a fit. Uh, okay, kid. I mean, all right. If you're not 10 years old, I mean, I guess I don't like to admit that I'm 25, almost 30. So, but you know what? We can both be however old we want to be. No, because that's 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 not how it works. Um, no. Uh, you you work here, and then you get old, and then you go missing and that's just how it works okay um there's there's no in between you don't get to choose you don't get to choose what you want to do all right kid let's just you know calm down a bit um no one especially me is not going missing wait what'd you say oh she's not she's like oh i'm not no one's going missing like you can calm down basically okay um he he's starting to throw a fit and uh He's just stopping and getting angry. He's crossed his arms and he's like closing his eyes and he's making a grumpy face. And uh, the lights begin to flicker and actually the all the locker doors swing open. Okay, well, um, she'd be like, okay, is this some kind of like joke or something? Because like this is like some weird stuff, or like it's a dream. So she'd kind of be like, okay, this is a really weird dream. <laughs> Okay. Um, he walks up to you and he he says, uh, "I'm I'm so I'm so sorry for that. Um, you 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 should come with me. All right. Um, we should we should go upstairs. Uh, we should all we should get everyone together and we could have a nice calm talk." Uh, sure. So I guess like she'll just follow the boy. Um, as you're walking, um, as you exit the little cleaning area. Uh, you notice that the help desk isn't there, and that it's actually just a long, long hallway. And he's leading you down the hallway. It does not look familiar to anything you've ever seen. Huh. Okay, well, she'd probably just kind of be like, okay, this is, like, kind of weird, like, weird dream sequence stuff. Like, she's probably, like, trying to paint herself to see if she's, like, like can wake up or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I don't... I don't think you can wake up yet, um, but this this is how I get from place to place where I gotta be. Um, it's pretty fast. Um, I just gotta gotta walk. It's nice. Get some exercise. Okay. Well, uh, who are we looking for, anyways? Oh, we're looking we're looking for Steven right now. Um, he he should be uh he should be coming up soon. Um, I, I haven't talked to him yet. Uh, and then we're all gonna meet up at the bar. Um, I'm kind of playing with the bar guy right now. He's 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 weird, funny, kind of creepy. All right, we'll just lead the way, I guess. All right, as you come to the door, you open it and you find yourself there's Stephen, uh, and he's right in front of you in the rental area, and he, the little boy says, "Hey, Stephen, I've met you before." Oh. What? Well, ain't you the little boy from a foreign store who needed a pair of boots? Yeah, I don't, I don't need those anymore. I figured out how to walk by myself. Oh well, I, I guess that's good. Now you seem to be here in my dreams, which is kind of ridiculous. And that's hmm. Well, yeah. You're a cute little feller. Oh, I, I wouldn't call me that. I'm a lot different in person. Yeah. Well, I done met you in person. You're still a cutie. Ruffle his hair. Uh, the lights flicker. <laughs> when I roll, ruffle his hair? Yeah, roll sanity. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you have awakened, Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, I hit a one. My sanity remains. 
you hit a one, so I guess you don't gain any sanity because you're at one already. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, so it's a dream. It's a, yeah, it's a dream. Nothing. It's weird. Um. Uh, he he looks over and says, Stephen, um, have you met Mariana before? I think you have. I saw you guys before at the bar. So. Well, yeah, she was friends with Kelly. She she was pretty good. Mariana, do do you know do you know Stephen? Uh yeah um uh, right Stephen gosh I keep forgetting your name Stephen yes yeah, Stephen I know Stephen yeah mm -hmm. uh, so little boy what are you doing here oh Back you know I'm just uh I'm just introducing myself so that we can get to know each other over the next few years it's gonna well, be, it's gonna be fun what is your name little boy wait next few years what what do you mean years my friend oh you know because uh you know I, do you guys want to meet Joseph? Well, Joseph did seem like a right young character, but he see he went messing during the electrical storm. Said he went to go work at that mid lodge. I don't, I don't work up there, so you know, I I doubt I was gonna see him for a while. Oh, um, yeah, but uh, I I I I just want to show you what's going on. I just I just want to show you. Okay. Don't just get in the yes kid. kid. <laughs> What'd you say, Mariana? <laughs> I just say yes to the kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he starts leading you guys, like holds both of your hands and leads you back down the hallway. Um, and this time, when you open the door, it doesn't lead to the cleaning area. It leads to the bar, and uh, yeah, you, you see another little kid on the on the bar, and uh, you see the gruffled old man in his mascot suit. And he says, "Hey me," ha, ha, or the little kid says, "Hey me, how you doing? Uh, how's how's the grumpy guy?" Um, and the little kid goes, "Oh, he's drunk again, but it's his dream, so we can clear that up soon." Mm. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> dream well, logic. Seems, there seem to be two of you, and I'm assuming that's your twin. What's his name? All right. Um, I, I will say that, uh, he, he has the same name as me, um, uh, actually, we're the same person. Uh, they walk up, they hug, and they turn into one person that looks exactly the same. Everyone rolls sanity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Six! Doing? Going more insane! Ooh, I got a six, too. I got a four. Yes. Alright, Mariana goes up one, she's at three. Mascot, okay. Mascot, you go up one, right? Yep, I'm right. at four. Alright, and then the clerk goes up one as well, he's at two. All right, so we'll start with the drunk guy. How are you going to roll pay your insanity? I throw the, bo the booze bottle at him. He... Get, what are you, sorcery? Get out of here! <laughs> he yeah. lit the bottle as soon as it comes near him. It literally disappears. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, and he goes, yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. Um, I get upset sometimes. I think Mariana knows that, but that's only when there's more than one of me, because I have to separate and stuff. It's very complicated. Yeah, don't piss off the kid, okay? Just don't piss off the kid. What are you doing here? It's my dream. It's my dream. <laughs> no, it's mine. Hello. The fucking... No! <laughs> what? How? That makes no... What? Ugh. Look. You know, it's already bad enough that I have to dream about you here, too, so... I don't understand you know, why just... my dream is arguing with itself. I... Should probably get some more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's had to be the drinks or something. I, I don't know. It's it's look, gotta be something we drink. Look, look, listen to me. I'm gonna go drink some more. When I'm finished, you better be gone. You're not in my dream. This I told you this is my dream. I'm gonna start <laughs> chugging alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There's no arguing with her. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, I'm role playing. It has, as he gets more insane, he gets more mad. So, Oof, that's, uh, <laughs> he's already at four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty so. soon he's gonna stop burning things. <laughs> gonna crowd down next to that little boy. Boy, you never done tell me your name. Oh, um, yeah. Um, my name is uh, my name is Hamilton Jr. Um, yeah, I'm 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 fun sometimes. Oh well. Are you the boss's son, Hamilton Jr.? <laughs> You're funny. Um, the boss, the boss isn't, the boss isn't here anymore. 
Well, I done saw him just the other day. Did he go on a trip or something? His face gets stark white, and uh, he gets this kind of like grim, grim appearance. And he goes, "What? What? What do you? What do you? What do you mean you saw him today?" I, well, he done called an office meeting. You know, he looked a little bit different, but you know, he seemed to be in pretty good health for an old man. Wait, 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 wait. What'd you say he looked like? When he was, uh, you know, he was a little bit chubbier, but you know. No, no, I... no, 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 no. You see, you see, he had a he had a stomach problem, and uh, and he was thin. Uh, he was never fat, and. Uh, and he's dead. Like, he's not here anymore. Like, I took care of him a long time ago. He's already dreamed about me. What do you mean you took care of him, little boy? Sanity check. Yeah, that's a sanity check. <laughs> do I have to make one? Can, can I hear him over the booze? No, you can't. You're glugging. Okay. Okay, Let's see good. here. Mariana does have to make one as well, though. Double sixes. Killing me. Up to three. All right. Yeah, join me on the insanity party. All right, Audrey. Uh, how do you role play your insanity? All right, boy. Well, I don't know what you done saying, man. You you're saying you kill your probably dead. Man, he's most definitely alive. I done saw him this morning. You gotta be lying to me, son. Why you gotta be lying to me like that? Denial. Ooh. All right, Mariana. What'd you get? Uh, I had a three. Okay. Uh, you don't gain any. You're you're kind of cool. You're like. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird, but this is a dream. Okay. Weird stuff happens in dreams. Um, the little boy looks over at Steven and he's like, uh, yeah, um, no, I, 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 it, it wasn't me, it was, it was him that took care of himself. Um, that way I can be here so that I can talk to everyone, so that I can have friends. I didn't have a lot of friends. Well, every boy deserves some friends. Now, I think you deserve to give me some a little bit more explaining here. Stop talking all these riddles. It, and he turns his head to the side and he's like, am I confusing you? Well, just a little bit. Now you done keep on referring to him and he done this. And I, you know, I'd like some names and so maybe some descriptions of what they do. And I'm trying to help you out some, but if you ain't going to give me nothing, you ain't going to get nothing oh. back. He, he looks over to Mariana and uh, he says, do I confuse you too? You know, I, I, I'm like, this is a dream. I checked out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Join the old kid. man over in the, in the alcohol section. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, can I drinking. go over there and drink some alcohol? <laughs> <That's so crazy. laughs> okay. Uh, Marianne joins the mascot. <laughs> She's like, give me a stiff one. The stiff one. <laughs> now you're talking my language. <laughs> okay. Um, and he, as Marianne walks over, uh, you turn back to look at the kid quick, and you just see Steven there. And when you turn back, the kids in between you and the mascot. I, I, I can make people uh, move sometimes using my hallways. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, well, you know, I, I'm pretty good where I am. So, you know, no need to move me around. I'm good. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I like, I like to play games. Um, so... I guess I'm going to show you what I can do tomorrow, and I gave you a little bit of a tease today, but uh, the performance is going to be tomorrow. Big lights, everyone. Big lights. Um, big, big lights. And he claps his hand, and it goes dark, and all of you wake up in a sweat, and you guys are exhausted, and it's morning time. It's time to go to work. <laughs> and... Crazy. Just, and uh, Justin rolled the highest before, so Abraham, uh, you're you're awake. You you are under a table in the bar. Um, I'm gonna look at the sun, if there is one. Like what time of the day it is? Uh, it is early, early morning, crack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly, oh, <laughs> surprisingly, you don't have a hangover. Mm -hmm. well, can I? I have to make a sanity check for that one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Seventeen. 
Six! Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> As it progresses. Five. Go on the crazy train. Alright, remember, you can also suppress knowledge. <laughs> I think his constant drinking would suppress it pretty good. <laughs> Actually, yes, it would. So, next time you drink, you're going to have to roll to decrease your sanity. Ooh. Yes, the tables are turning. Okay. No. Mariana, you wake up in a sweat. You're in wherever you sleep. Uh, describe where you are right now and uh, what you're doing to get ready for the day. All right, well, um, she'll live with her mom and her, like, seven cousins or some craziness. And <laughs> In the laundry room of the hotel. <laughs> Um, and she, like, starts, I guess, like, she'd be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe, like, she's exhausted, and she has to go to work, so she's pretty much in, like, a pretty bad mood, um, as if she's not in a bad mood already, um, so she'll get dressed and, I guess, um, start heading over to work. Okay, um, do you look at your phone? You obviously do, right? Yeah, I guess that'd be... All right. obvious. Uh, it, it was off. When you turn it on, it starts buzzing. You got three new voicemails. Okay, so she'll pick up her phone and listen. Shh, nobody checks voicemails. <laughs> um, as you check them, uh, the first one, you dial, and it's blank noise. It lasts for about two seconds, and then it seemed like someone hanged up. The second one was uh, Kelly, and she's like, Yeah, um, can, can you come over tonight? Um, I'm, I'm getting, It's getting pretty weird here. Um, I saw this, I saw something, and I, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, um, just show up, alright? Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look on my computer for some stuff. And then the third one has Kelly again, and she's crying, bawling her eyes out. I'm so sorry, Mariana, but I can't do it. Alright, um, I figured it out. You have to come here. Uh, room 403, you gotta check it out. And it hangs up. Interesting. Okay, well, now she's, like, kind of concerned about um, Kelly. She probably thinks it's something, like, I don't know, with her mom or something, like, figured out what why her mom kicked her out or something. Um, so, yeah, so she'll she'll finish getting ready and uh, head there, and uh, she'll go immediately to go check on Kelly. Okay, and then, Stephen, how do you wake up? You just uh, remember, like, your dream, and it was so weird. Boy. You know, wake up, you know, damn, boy, done infesting my dreams and everything. Checks the time, you know, assuming it's still about the crack of dawn, you know. Yep. Damn, I ain't never getting out of this old chicken farmer shit. Still up at the crack of dawn every day. <laughs> you know, guess I'm going to go check on Kelly. I told her I would, you know. Ain't no excuse for being lazy. Okay. Um, as uh, you, you two, Mariana and Steven, you end up walking through the door at the same time. Uh, you see each other, and you're like, oh, yeah, what do you say to each other? Oh, um, I, I would, um, I have a question. Would, um, Steven actually have, um, like, Kelly's number and stuff, too? No. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. Um, well, she'd go to, uh, Steve and be like, you know, I got some really weird messages from Kelly, so we should head up right away. All right, well... That's good. Kelly seemed like a nice girl. Yeah, I, you know, she's been having a lot of problems with her mom, like she was talking about um, last night. So I think, you know, I think she's just kind of having a hard time. So we should really go see and check on her. Absolutely. Go ahead and lead the way. All right, so she'd, like, lead the way up the stairs. Okay. Um, as you do so, uh, you, um, you guys end up getting to room 403, and I'll skip over to the mascot quick. Um, and the mascot, actually, uh, what are you doing today? What, are you going to um, go to the J-Bar and tell kids that you can't ride on it because you broke it, or? Um, you know, he has five insanity. He's going to go straight to the bar. It's a sick day. Okay. Um, as you do so, um, you, you just left the bar and then you come back in, and, uh. He, he had to pee. <laughs> Um, you come back in, the bartender's there, and he says, Oh, hey, uh, welcome back, um, how you doing? Shut up. Sit, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Give me everything. It, it's not four o'clock yet. I don't care. 
Give uh, it to me. Okay. I'm gonna grab the bartender and like pull him up to my face. Give me my beer. All right. And like sort of let him go. All right. Uh, roll to intimidate him. Is this a? It's job? two dice. Two dice. Sweet. Uh, six and a four. Oh, okay. <laughs> you make it. She's like, okay, all right, all right. Uh, here you go. And he just gives you a six pack. <laughs> all right. Are you I'm gonna... just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just start drinking right there. Okay. Five sanity. It's like he's not doing good. All right. Roll to suppress knowledge. Okay. Um, I got a four. Okay. Um, that that means you lose one point of insanity, and um. Alcohol solves everything. Yes. Um, you start to forget things. Um, you get a little clumsy. Um, you are now intoxicated more than usual. And, uh, you look over to the counter, and, uh, no one's there except the little kid sitting on a stool. The same little kid from your dream. This kid. Yeah, the damn kid. <laughs> I'm gonna just go back to the bottle. Ignoring. Uh, you... I need I need more sweet release. Alright, roll again to suppress knowledge. <laughs> Wait, what? No. I, I thought it was just, like, a one-time thing. But okay. Nope. Yeah, once your insanity hits six. five, you can keep doing it. You roll a six. six again? Nope. Um... I rolled uh, below um, before. I got a six now. Okay. All right. So, does so, the standards go up? Uh, um, what do you mean? No, like, because it, he. I rolled, I rolled underneath my. Um, I rolled over my sanity, meaning that um, you, meaning I don't. It doesn't increase or decrease. Yep. Okay. Because it's specifically. So if you're rolling suppress to suppress knowledge, you can't increase it. Yes. Because okay. that seems really dumb. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, a five and say you screw it up. It's like, oh well. Yeah, it's like, I go to the therapist. Like, well, you go crazy. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you, uh, you take a look from your drink, and the kid's a little closer, and he's trying to grab your drink again. Ah, uh, this kid. I, I really want to smack him, but I no. want to taste this time. I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, you give him the drink. Uh, what drink do you give him? The one that I'm drinking right now, so I guess it's like crappy coarse light. Okay. Just whatever. <laughs> um, he takes a sip and he spits it out on the floor and throws the can on the floor. That was disgusting. Oh my god, it was like watered down dog piss. Ugh. And he starts vomiting all over the place. And then you notice that there's tremors in the whole building and the lights above you begin to tremor as well. Sanity check. Yep, all sanity. Three, I'm good. Okay. Uh, you're okay with this. There's <laughs> earthquakes in Vermont. Whatever. <laughs> I'm drunk enough. Anything can happen. <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm just bumbling around, I guess. All right, he goes, uh, yeah, um, that was disgusting, but uh, um, I think I think you should come with me. Um, I want to show you Kelly right now. Fucking kids vomiting. All right. All right. Uh, he, you tried it. That's enough for me. All right. He <laughs> grabs you and he starts skipping along down the stairs and uh, down the hallway. And uh, wait, he, the normal hallway or his magical hallway? His magical hallway. The door I, opens up from the bar into this slim, narrow hallway, and he starts walking the drunk guy down it. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Now back to Mariana and Stephen. You come up to room four hundred three. And, uh, you see that the door is cracked open. Okay. Uh, Mariana would, like, turn to uh, Stephen a little freaked out that the, the door is open and be like, uh, you can go first. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with an open door. Like, pushes him in, the, <laughs> in front of her. Knock, knock politely on the door, you know. Uh, you hear no response, and the door creaks open as you knock it. Just kill in, in just there. Go in. I ain't going. I ain't barging in on her if she ain't undressed. She ain't decent. If she ain't undressed. <laughs> <laughs> I want her naked. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly in there. <laughs> it's me and Mary. I'm to come check on you. You hear no response at all. Oh, this is taking too long. So she'll like kind of push uh, Steve out of the way and just kind of like go in and be like, 
Kelly, Kelly, are you here? Where are you? Suit yourself, Missy. Mm -hmm. Um, as you walk in, you see there is the carpeting, and roll sanity because there is a human-shaped body under the carpet. Oh no! Okay. Do I get to roll sanity? Uh, yes, you do as well. <sighs> I thought you were like covering your eyes, like I can't see anyone not decent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I rolled a three again. All right. Wow. Yes. Okay, you're okay then. I rolled a one. Okay, so okay if, if it's the same, what if, what if it was lower? Would it still not affect me? Or yeah, it still wouldn't affect you. You can uh, still okay. role play it if you want, but it wouldn't be as bad. You wouldn't gain insanity. If okay. uh, was like the rule says, like if you get it below or it equals, it's like you hold it together. But if it's yeah, like higher, they like, start freaking out. Oh, okay. Yeah, the idea is like it still freaks you out a bit, but like you're not like running away, sort of thing. You know, okay. Like, okay. Got stuff. it. All right, so um, I, I see a, a body on the floor. Is that what you said? No, nope. under the carpet, there is a body-like shape. So through the carpet, you see a body-like shape and some blood stains around where the head would be. Okay, um, I'd kind of be a little concerned, I guess, but I'd be like, uh, Steven, get in here. <laughs> Go in room. No, there seems to be someone under this here. Car is it like a rug, or is it like the carpet? It's the carpeting stable? of the floor. What? Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, that's why, because you don't know how it got there. Yeah, yep. okay. okay. That makes a lot I, of sense. I thought it was just like, you see a body, a under body a rug. under Yeah, I was like, yeah. Mm. I'm like, eh, I can't see Rolling City, but yeah, okay. I mean, There's a body under yeah. the carpet. Okay. Let's see here. Um, roll, like, preparedness to have a shank on me? I mean, knife? A knife. There's no preparedness check. I don't know. <laughs> well, <This isn't... laughs> maybe you'll have like a chisel or a screwdriver or something from the rental desk, and you're like, I mean, you know, carpet's pretty soft. You don't need a freaking razor blade to slice through. All right, uh, thumb through the desk in the hotel room to find scissors. Then roll one d six. I don't know. I mean, a clerk finding stuff in a desk. Well, this is gonna maybe... decide whether or not like what you find. It's... It's All Cthulhu right. Dark. You're going to succeed anyway. Yeah. Gotcha! Oh, I got a five. Okay. You find you find a box knife. Very nice. All right, Marion. You might want to stand back. I don't know what the hell's going to be under here. Yeah, she's kind of like standing uh, close to the door, kind of ready to bolt, I guess. All right. Uh, roll one more d6 to see how well you do. <laughs> you oh, missed. Get a one. Nope, I got a two. That's not much better. Okay, um, you cut open the carpet, but our two, like, blood just pours out of the body mm -hmm. as, as you, like, stab down the chest and cut it open. Oh, well, like you're skinning bad. a deer. Ooh. Or defeathering a chicken. I don't know. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mariana, you need to roll sanity. Okay. Oh, I got a two. <laughs> I don't know how I'm keeping it together. <laughs> but I just get you some blood. Like, I guess maybe I like not. I'm not really like looking. I just like can't even look because like. Do you know you can like purposefully like I choose not to roll. I automatically fail. That is an option. Yeah, okay. That's true. Yeah, because I feel like that would be, like, really yeah. creepy. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I mean, there's, I'll like, a that. point when sometimes it's just, like, no, I absolutely lose sanity on that. Yeah, there's one. no yeah. way that she would be, like, cool with this. Like, oh, you know, blood from the floor. Like, ooh, whatever, you know. <laughs> okay, um, so I would just go up to four. Huh? So I would just go up to four if I just, like, want to, like, just fail the check and, like, kind of yeah. freak out of it. Okay. You're at four mm -hmm. now. Yeah. How, how, how do you freak out? Okay, well, if she, as soon as she sees blood, she's going to probably start, like, kind of wanting to faint, because that's a lot of blood. <laughs> so she starts kind of, like, putting her hand on the wall and, like, kind of edging towards the door and, like, uh, kind of, <laughs> like, like, Steven, we need to go. We need to, we just need to leave. <laughs> like, get someone. <laughs> uh, I ain't going to leave a trap down there. I'm going to, I'm going to get her out of that one way or the other. <laughs> what? <laughs> The police don't need to know about this. <laughs> <laughs> like Steven, just, just just leave it. Just let's just go. Let's just get out of here. I, I'm not feeling good. Let me roll my casual one d six to see how I react to that. Okay. Two. Oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> gonna keep cutting the floor open. <laughs> okay. I can't just leave her down there. What if she hurt or something? I mean, you know, look at all the blood. <laughs> What if she's hurt? I was like, I think you're doing more damage than good. 
<laughs> Pull out a hand. She just needs a helping hand. <laughs> All right, you uh, you come to reality. Uh, Mariana does. Uh, she snaps to it because she starts hearing a loud knock on the bathroom door. And Steven stops cutting momentarily because he hears a loud knock on the bathroom door. It's not going to be Kelly on the floor. Is it? Okay, um, so... <laughs> I, like, cannot see her, like, going towards that door after just seeing, like, all this blood and stuff. So I think she'd be like, Stephen, please, just, like, go go to the door. Go see what it is. Is this another dream? <laughs> yeah, she'd, like, go pitch for me, like, my thing. What the fuck? She would just be, like, she'd just be kind of like, okay, I'm going to use the girl card and, like, be like, go be a gentleman <laughs> over the door. Go be a gentleman. <laughs> He's kind of like, you know, all right, I'll, I'll go open the door. I don't know what the hell is going on here. See, good old Southern boys. <laughs> all right, as you open the door, you see a long hallway where the bathroom should be. Son of a bitch. And a little boy right in front of you, and he says, Hey, Steven, how you doing? He tilts his head to the side, and he's holding the hand of the mascot guy. David Hamilton Jr.? <laughs> so wait, I, the I, hell I, are you doing here? Can I roll a sanity? For... I rolled. Yes, you can. You were just transported there was, there somewhere no strange. No, not even that. Like, I look into the room and I see a geyser of blood from the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah roll for that. That's more likely. Five. I'm going on the crazy train. Okay. You. I took up my sanity. Just. <laughs> You're at five I'm... again, right? Um. Yep. I'm okay. gonna chuck. I'm assuming I'm bringing a bottle. Yeah, I'm you brought chuck a bottle. the bottle at the corpse and run. Just okay. run away. Uh, are you gonna run down the hallway or run yes. out of the room? Turn around. I'm not thinking clearly. Okay. Shit. Um, roll sanity. Everybody? Nope, just you. Okay. One. Yes. Okay. Um, it's kind of cool, attention. but you're running down the hallway and it just keeps going. Uh, you run for a solid thirty minutes, and the boy looks, and you turn around, and the boy is right next to you again, and the doorway is still next to you. Um, it seems like you haven't, you've been running in place almost, but you physically feel drained. And he says, are you having fun? I'm gonna just sort of walk over, sit down, really feel like I need to punch something. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there, seething rage. Hamilton Jr., what the hell are you doing here? Can't, can't you tell? I'm just, I'm having fun. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, are you having fun, You Mariana? think this is fun? You think that any of this is fun? What are we, are we just toys to you? Um, I'm gonna say, I say I'm gonna chair. I'm gonna pick up the chair and chuck it at him. This is not fun, this is my life! Okay, uh, <laughs> roll to throw the chair. <laughs> Can I spend willpower? Yes, you can. You can? <laughs> I choose to. Oh, wait, I need to choose which one it is. Okay, I'm doing the one without a one on it. Um, both sixes, actually, again. Sweet. Wow. Okay, so I can't remember what I said before. I think it was you keep it, right? Or that the insanity wins. I don't remember. Um, I think um, it was insanity wins. I, I can just re-roll it. Okay, yeah, re-roll it. Okay, whichever is higher. Um, normal wins, so. Okay, um, you sit down, and you throw the chair as hard as you can, and it hits the kid. Don, Abraham, what Don, the Don, hell? Don. Why are you throwing a chair at this little boy? Mariana and Steven, roll sanity again. <laughs> <laughs> I got a five. Ooh, oh, thank yes. God. Sanity preserved. <laughs> Mariana is now at five. How do you how do you go batshit crazy right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she was just kind of like, like how, a like, kid just got like... hit by a chair. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like she... Did he like? Did he even react? Okay, so um... yeah, say like he like what what did he do? Like what did the okay. boy like? Uh, he gets taken out by the chair. He falls on the ground and blood comes out of his nose. Okay, I'm curious. Have you ever has anyone here ever actually fainted before? Yeah, I think. Okay. So normally what happens when you faint is you you have a couple seconds where you don't remember anything. Yeah. So what I imagine is during those couple seconds, you just see a kid just get taken out by a chair. You have no <laughs> idea who he is. You have no idea who, what this room is. And you just see a dude in like a pig suit just like. 
swap this kid. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, well, um, so I think Mariana should start almost like crying, basically, because like she's just like doesn't want to be here right now and like doesn't like she just like totally wants to just be somewhere else and like she still remembers the blood and everything, so she's kind of feeling like like really sick and everything and uh uh I don't know. Can she like run? Like, can, can she try to run away? Yeah, she can. Go yeah, ahead. Okay. The door, right there. Out, can she, out of the hallway, of going... into the hallway, or out the door? Out the door. Okay. Uh, you run out the door, and you are going to try to leave the resort. Yes. Okay. Um, as you run up to the door, uh, to exit, like the exit door, um, mm -hmm. you're not able to get near it. The door is locked. <laughs> Just kid. And we you, are gonna you die. shake it, you shake it, you shake it, and you see a kid's reflection in the glass, and he's like, "Why are you trying to run away, Mariana? I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what my dad told me to do." Uh, I think she'd be like, uh, "Who the hell is your dad? <laughs> like, like, can't you just leave me alone? Like, I don't care about you. I don't care about your dad. Just leave me alone." You should care about my dad. He owns the place. Or he owned it before I started owning it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think she would just be, like, just, like, kid, I, I don't know. I feel I feel like she would, like, be, like, kind of creeped out that she's, like, alone with this kid. So I guess, like, shoot, I guess she'd it's try to the go. Kid is, it's the kid's reflection. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, the it's, kids, kids are, kids like clocked out just on the yeah, ground with a broken You're talking chair. to a reflection right now. Just a reflection, okay. <laughs> Could she like, I don't know, like try to like, I don't know. She just flips out and tries to like break the glass just to like. Yeah, how are you gonna break it? I don't know. Like, can she look around and see if she finds like a chair? <laughs> yes, there is a park bench, like okay. a bench that people sit on. It's made of wood. Uh. Okay. It's not that heavy. It's like a two-seater. Okay, can she, like, like, I don't know, like, kick it, and then it somehow, like, just, like, cracks the window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Try to. Uh, roll 1d6. Okay. Oh, a six. Okay. Um, you crack the glass. Sweet. So does his reflection disappear? <laughs> uh, his, his reflection is now in the glass uh, mm -hmm. cracks, and there's more than one of him now. So roll Great. sanity. He goes in between the cracks. Shit oh, I, I got a one. Okay. Uh, you hold your shit together. Um, and now all of them are bickering amongst each other on the shattered pieces. And they're like, no, you should have done this. Why did you let her grab the bench? I didn't let her grab the bench. You did. No, it, that's not how it works. And the middle one goes, no, 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 no. And he starts crying. Okay, um, I think she'll, I guess, if she can't escape, then the last thing she wants to do is, like, be alone. So I guess she'll try to go back and find, uh, uh, Steve and Abraham. Okay. Um, you run back into the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, like, running. <laughs> the mascot is still sitting. Um, it's almost as if no time passed at all. And the kid's still clocked out on the ground with a chair above him. Like on top of him. Okay, she's and like, I like, like this, it's a wooden like chair and it's just like splintered. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I like this version of the kid better. <laughs> I'm not the unconscious old. one. Yeah. All right, Steven, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna kneel down and hold this kid just decked in the face by a chair. <laughs> All right, you saw Mariana exit the room and then come back in in half a second. Oh, so she just like blinked in and I'm like. Uh, uh, well, it's She's like she walked answer. out the door, closed it, and, and then walked right back, walked in. back in. Yep. So it's not yeah. weird. It's just she might have just uh, been... Ah. Get over here and help me with this kid. He ain't doing too good. He's bleeding a little bit. Mr. Crazy over there after done tossed a chair at him. Flip him. Mariana's flip like, don't help the kid. <laughs> just flip him. Like, just I'm going to flip him off. You're going to flip him off? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. All right. So Steven's going to try to help the kid. Yeah. All right, Turn. roll 1d6. All righty, then. Come on. Something. Ooh, I got a 1. Great. Okay, you succeed. The kid is... the You patch him up a little bit, but he's not, he's barely stable. All right, I, I pick up the kid, and I run to go find medical attention or assistance. All right, do you run down the hallway, or do you run out the door? 
uh, the not magic hallway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, as you do so, you come up and you see sh- like uh, like uh, kind of like a uh, cracked glass at the exit, and a park bench right in front of the door. I tried Mariana, the door. I, do you, I, I... Did you follow Steven with the kid, or did you stay with mascot dude? Uh, I stayed, I think. Okay. Um, I'll just continue with Steven for a minute, then. Okay. What were you about to say? Open the door. You know, assuming it's not locked. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> is there nowhere else to go, or is there only that one exit? Uh, that's the main exit. The other exits are, uh, you know, they they generally are locked because uh, people aren't supposed to go through them. You kind of have to go, like, through corridors and stuff, but uh, you could easily walk through them, but due to the sense of urgency in this kid's, like, life, yeah. uh, you probably don't have time. You want to go immediately to the parking lot. Oh, roll a, uh, a 1d6 to bust this door, like, shoulder slam the door open. Okay, go ahead. Spend Ignore willpower. Spend willpower. Hell no. Kid needs no. It. I'm pretty crazy already. <laughs> Join the crazy <laughs> train. Yeah, I will. Actually, I will expend a little bit. Yeah. Like, he's like freaking about this kid. <laughs> All right. This will be not crazy dice, and it gets a two, and this will be crazy dice, and it gets a fucking three. <laughs> you gained Sandy. one. Sandy expended. You're, full, you're at four. You shatter the glass, and a big glass shard goes into your arm. Oh, oh my god, kid. Uh, you, the kid's okay. Um, he's, he's stable, but now you're bleeding out the arm, and you, like, go to look to kind of, like, I don't know what you want to do with it. Do you want to pull it out or leave it in? Actually, I think it's uh, better to leave it in. If I take it out, then it's going to start bleeding profusely everywhere. Okay. Yeah. As you, That's weird. As you glimpse to look at it, you see the kid's reflection, and he's like, you shouldn't leave. You should, I have to stay inside. You have no idea. What the fuck? So the kid with the glass shard embedded in me is now talking to me through the glass shard? Yes. Well, you can You know what? I'm going to just... Ready? <laughs> oh, I get a six on my insanity. Great. That's going up. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even going to bother to ask. You're at five. <laughs> this kid is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one shot. He's going like, to start okay. hyperventilating, yell at the shard on the ground. No, I, I got to save you. And I point at him in my, my arms. <laughs> <laughs> no! I can't just let you die like this! Do you exit the building? I run out the building towards the parking lot to get assistance. Okay, one second. I'm gonna roll to see how crazy this gets. <laughs> going to literally kill me. Aww. I'm gonna get like a two. How'd you know? Because every roll is a two, apparently. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> psychic guy over here. Um, <laughs> uh, the kid, you, like, uh, you see him disappear from the reflection, and he disappears from your arms. This kid. Um, as you walk out the building, what are you gonna do? The kid is gone, but I still have a big ass shard of glass in my arm. Yep. Uh, no reflection though. Oh, I like that kid. He's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go continue to medical assistance. I have a big ass shard of glass in my arm. I need to deal with that. Okay. Um, are you gonna run towards the parking lot? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, roll one d six. All right. How are we doing here? I just forgot if it's still rolling. It was a five. Okay. Okay. You run for about five hours towards the parking lot. Ah, uh, that's not good news at all. Um, you are bleeding out profusely. You probably do not have enough time to get back. However, in the reflections of the cars, um, like, no, actually, you don't even get close enough to the cars to see the reflections. It's as if you're running downstairs forever, and then you trip, fall, and then you're falling downstairs for a few hours. Oh my god, this kid is killing me. Um, you, actually, um, you need to roll sanity again. Oh, please not a six. Oh, the truth. How are we doing? Oh, the die fell off the table. Oh, it was a three. Oh, thank God. You got a three? Yeah, I got a three. Okay, uh, you land on your ass, and it hurts at the bottom of the stairs, and you're finally in the parking lot. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, however, you probably do not have much time left. What are you going to do? 
um, how far away is this uh, the nearest place to not die? Um, like the first aid station or whatever. The first aid station is probably a town over. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, there's a first aid me. kit inside the resort. How far away is that? Well, you just ran five hours to get to the parking lot. Well, I clearly didn't think about that one. <laughs> Ski down! Ski down! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. And it's fucking freezing outside. Yep. You know, Vermont. Great. Can't even, like, cauterize my wounds on the tarmac. Great. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? Shove it into the pavement? Have you ever been in Georgia? It gets, like, 100 degrees in the summer. That's <laughs> oh, a viable I... strategy. I live in Michigan. When you guys say, like, snow is cold, I'm like, I can sit out go out there in a t-shirt. I live in northern New York, guys, okay? <laughs> we, had, we had the ice storm, and it was so bad. This was not a good winter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> it was going to get worse. I, uh, jeez, I don't know. This kid is literally killing me. I, you know what, I want to yell at the glass. You know, trying to get the kid to come back. Be like, damn it, kid! I, I'm trying to save. It. I ain't gonna make it. You hear laughter. Son of a bitch, kid. <laughs> damn. Um, it's just like, ha ha ha. You, you know what? You shouldn't have taken me out of the building. Oh, this kid, why is he? You were trying to help him. What the damn hell? it, kid! I was just trying to help you. Come on, I. It ain't no need to be like that. All right, roll 1d6, and I'll roll 1d6 as well. And if you beat me, you don't pass out. Hooray! How are we doing? Oh, he sucks your blood out. Not too good. We What'd you get? Three. What'd you get? Three? I got a four. <laughs> okay, you pass out on the pavement. That's not good news. Um, as your eyes shut, um, we will move on to Mariana and Abraham for a minute. You guys are both sitting in the hotel room, and uh, Steven had just ran away and uh, with the kid. I swear to God, if that kid just pops up back in the room. <laughs> nope, the I'm kid's gonna... not there. Smoke a cigarette. I'm Man, like, I... uh, give me one. <laughs> <laughs> Pass one. I have not done so much physical action since. Oh. <laughs> since Vietnam. <sighs> 62 it had to be. <sighs> She's like, I haven't done that much action well ever. <laughs> okay. Um, the <laughs> door to the there's... hallway is still open, and the door to the like the exit is still open. Uh, should we get out of here? <laughs> like, do we just go sit in the magical hallway? Let me finish this sig first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finish the sig, and then we head out. <laughs> Alright, which way? Uh, not down the magical hallway. <laughs> <laughs> what does mascot I'll, I'll, man I'll leave, do? I'll leave it up to Abraham. No, we're not... I went down that. I didn't go anywhere. Alright, well then, we'll go out the door. Yeah, All right, I'll walk out. You get to the door, uh, the exit, is. you see Steven on the ground right outside the door. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go outside. <laughs> This kid. Take another puff of the cigarette. Oh. <laughs> um, no, what seems to be wrong with him? Um, you see I'm that... just looking at him. Um, actually, roll sanity. Both of you. Okay. We have four. Six! Okay. I'm insane! <laughs> okay, you see, uh, he's starting to have seizures and contorting his body as he's bleeding out the mouth. I'm a real <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I guess I'm just not concerned. <laughs> I'm gonna. What are, you doing? are there any glass shards in the um, around? Yes, there are on the ground and in his shoulder. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. This isn't real. I'm out. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm insane. I'm sorry. He's gonna kill himself. He's out. Okay. Um... I'm sorry. That's what happens when you go insane. You basically become an NPC. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just so he's just gonna off himself. So you just killed yourself, like, right in front of Mariana? Um, yep, Mariana actually, rolls again. Hey, oh, I'm man, gonna give thanks. you my cigarettes first. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take the cigarettes off your body, no. <laughs> Hold this done. for me. I rolled a two. A two? Do you want to just force yourself to fail that one? 
Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Wait, no, because then you'll be at six. Yeah, and then I'd be insane. <sighs> Actually, yes. Choice. Force it. Force it. Force it. Okay. Alright, I'm a six, so I go insane. Yep, what do you do? You take a puff of the cigarette and you see the mascot guy kill himself. <laughs> Steven is dead outside the door. He is hemorrhaging and he has stopped hemorrhaging. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, I think uh, I think Mariana's just going to be like, you know, it was a good run. But... <laughs> it, was, it was a good dumb man. No, but I, I can't see her, like, kill herself, though. Like, how else... Like, does she just kind of, like, mentally just check out and, like, just, like, just heart Actually, attack? I can do, I can do a, uh, kind of like an out, auto, whatever, like, kind of outro? like an intro. Yeah, an outro, if you want. Oh, yeah, sure, if you want. She just goes straight to, like, the crazy train. Yep. Um, uh, actually, uh, she, uh, she kind of passes out, uh, for a minute, and then she wakes up, and Steven's right next to her, and then... Um, you see also the mascot guy right next to you. Um, you guys all seem to be okay. Um, and you see, uh, another guy. His name, you, you talk to him for a second. His name's Joseph. You see Mr. Hamilton to your other side. And you see Kelly as well. Mm -hmm. Am I still in my mascot uniform? Yes. Damn it, Hamilton Thank Jr. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton looks over at Stephen and says, You've seen my son? How is he? How, uh, how, uh, what's he doing? He's freaking insane. I done checked. The boy done killed me when I tried to save him. Oh, oh your did, son? did you? Did, yeah, he's my son. Oh. Oops. What'd you do? Do you have any alcohol around here? I no. There's, it's just a. You look around and it's a black, endless room and with chairs in a circle, and all of you are sitting at them. You know, this done Mr. Crazy over in a mascot suit done tossed a chair at him. He oh. Pretty beat up. So, uh, Great. I done grabbed Joe's son and tried to go get some help. Did, did you did you take him out of the building? Of course. I ain't no medical attention in that resort. Oh, uh, you should have done that. <laughs> he didn't throw a chair at him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. And then all of you listen intently because there is endless time in this place. Um, and uh, Mr. Hamilton describes how he kind of, uh, in, like, uh, his son died when he was young. Um, so he started running the business. And then uh, he died as well. But he died within the hotel a few months after the, it was finished being built upon his son's grave. And... Uh, the hotel actually became his son while he was still alive. It digested human beings to keep oh, okay. their lives alive, to keep everyone in this life alive. Oh, okay. So he made he made a deal with uh, Shawgoth, and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna keep him alive." Yep. Okay. Um, so I I was a bit confused when I said like it ate him. I was like, "What?" That made it was what? kind of out of nowhere. Wait, what was that in nowhere? Um, the, the building eating people. Yeah, yeah, the building it's, like it's pretty unusual, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess because it's been two hours. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to continue going or? Sure. I think that's a perfect ending, but yeah, I can keep going. Yeah, we can keep going. Um. Okay. <laughs> Like, uh, I can't think of anywhere anything better than, like, everyone dies. <laughs> In the space of, like, five minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting really tired, so... Oh, okay. okay. Um, but I do want to do the ending part of the video, or the audio, yeah. or whatever. The outro? Uh, yeah. Um, questions, comments, suggestions, how was it? What do you think of Cthulhu okay. Dark? Uh, we'll start with Justin. Oh. Okay, so I'm, you, I'm actually going to be, like, I'm going to talk a lot. Because I really like um, podcasts, so I'm, I know a lot of stuff, basically. So you might want to start with someone else. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry. We'll start with Corey, then. <laughs> uh, well, this is um, my very first game. Like, I've actually never really done tabletop or anything before. What? Yeah, I've been wanting to do awesome. it. Yeah, tabletop I, I was... is so good. 
<laughs> I like wanted to do it for a really long time, and uh, so yeah, I met uh, Thomas here um, online, and he was like, "Yeah, this, yeah, that's fine. You're your new. Just come play." So um, it was definitely different than I had expected. I actually ended up getting way more into character than I thought I was. Because I was kind of like, at first, I was like, wait, what do I even say? Like, <laughs> it's because it's Cthulhu Dark. Oh. <laughs> um, no, not necessarily. Well, that's how I imagine it, because I run also Dungeon World and World of Dungeons and Call of Cthulhu, and I get a lot more serious then. But if it's Cthulhu Dark, like, I'm a little more whimsical, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I still try I, to mess with things. I, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was pretty, pretty snazzy. Um... <laughs> It, it was definitely different. I mean, I, I had no idea, like, going into this, what I was getting into. So <laughs> I definitely got into it. <laughs> you bonded with the old man at the end. That's all that matters. <laughs> with the smoke. <laughs> yes. Um, um, but, yeah, I, I liked it. So right. Overall. Uh, how, so did you like the system? And Yeah, I, I thought, like, uh, the story was, like, Pretty, pretty hella cool. So, uh, uh, I mean, like, I, I was at first, I was like really confused. I'm like, wait, what do I do now? Like, I don't understand like this insanity stuff. But you know, it, it's just kind of like once you run through it, it's pretty. Yeah, it takes like a good half an hour to be like, oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. that's, yeah. So, right. I understand what you mean. Okay. So, you good, Corey? Yeah, I'm good. All right, um, Aubrey. Well, what do you think? Questions, comments, concerns? Well, uh, I typically play D and D, so there's usually like a lot more complicated jazz. So, I was really impressed with how simplistic it was. It, like, you know, I played D and D, so it's like, okay, we'll roll a D10, and roll a D20, and roll a D4, and all this other shit. And then it's like, okay, well, roll a D6, roll two D6, roll roll three D6, you know. And then like, like the sanity stuff was usually like, okay, well. That was a pretty clear, obvious thing that something, like, I was definitely going insane on that. And it was, like, I came into it, like, trying to hope to make it, like, whimsical and kind of silly and stuff. And, like, make my character over the top. And it was a really receptive system for that. So it was like, oh, my character's getting more insane? Super easy reason to make it over the top. Alright, so did you like the story as well? It was pretty good. I just wish we had more time so we could finish it out. Uh, maybe next time. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this is just the first of many things, so. <laughs> or at least I hope so. <laughs> um, and then, Justin, I understand you have experience with the system, so go on your yeah. little speech. Okay, so, first off, I would not say this game is would be built for um, Cthulhu Dark. Cthulhu Dark is more of a, it's very whimsical, but then again, all systems can be. Everything can be uh, changed, but... Cthulhu Dark, um, because because character generation is just get a name and know what they do. That's all you need. So I mean, you should basically be like go running through characters a lot, which is one of the kind of like meta gaming of it. I was kind of like going for like another character because I like because um, I have a list of five characters and I wanted to get through them. <laughs> um, but other than like, I would honestly say suggest uh, just using uh, Call of Cthulhu and maybe making some pre gens like. So I made the uh, the gritty mascot character who was like I'm tough and bad. Like so basically, um, either like you would make it or like I would like if you know the system you can make it yourself. Mm-hmm. But like Call of Cthulhu is already a naturally pretty simple system. It's you have a sixty in this, meaning you have to get under a sixty percent chance. It's a very like um, I. Bleh. Um. <laughs> Like I, I'll be honest. I enjoy crunch. I enjoy like when a when I can look at a system and I'm be like, okay, this character is good at this because of this, this, and this. Like, I'm just like that. So, that m- I really enjoy role playing. But when I, um, but Cthulhu Doc, it it pulls me out of it a bit because it basically means everyone can be anything. Like my um, the like the mascot guy, he could easily have just like. The only time I actually made him do, like, physical things, I wanted to make sure it was, like, a strain. But if it were, like, another system, there could be, like, a mechanical thing to it. Like, I would have been perfectly fine if you were, like, okay, 
in Call of Cthulhu, if you're so drunk, you get a minus 10 to all actions. You're just hammered. Like, and you could just, like, keep building on it and, like, and have a yo-yoing effect. Mm -hmm. Um, that's what I have mechanically. Like, the system itself is bare bones, and so it... I mean, for learning, like, what a role-playing game is, yeah, it's great. Like, you sit there, and you're like, okay, I just roll this thing. Okay, that's simple. Um, one... Actually, I realized I forgot one thing. Um... You, we did not actually challenge other people very often. One thing that um, Cthulhu Doc actually does is like, okay, I'm going to do this thing. And you're like, okay, roll for it. You go, I challenge this. And the other person is basically a roll off. Mm-hmm. Which we never really did, but because we were slightly teamish. But I mean, like in a zombie game, which is what I prefer Cthulhu Doc for, like um, one example that I like for a podcast that I listened to was um like okay we're gonna like there's some zombies in front of a dude that and we're in a car like okay we're gonna jump the ramp over him and crush the zombies and then just like and then slide and then he can get in the car because it's a role-playing game you gotta do that and um so they the guy challenged it and eventually what happens is like go okay screw that the car lands on the dude you just crush him like it, like that's what I, that's what I feel like it should be more like. It should, you should have like, um, when I come up with, um, when I have the list, I should be able to like go through them. Okay. If I wanted, if like, if, because I mean, if I knew it was gonna be like something, um, so, like in depth, like character in depth, I probably would have changed my character. I would have like thought of other stuff than, um, mask like, like the de- funny dichotomy of like grizzled mascot, well grizzled ma- old man and furry animal like it (laughs) um yes that is all i have mechanically so um story wise um honestly what i oh by the way i did i really enjoyed it like i'm just gonna say this straight up i really didn't really enjoyed it but um there are a few things first of all you need to start off with where um the players can do things like this the idea of like you're starting off like just hanging out and you go to the meeting there wasn't really anything that we could do. Like, that, that would be better off to be like, if um, it would be better off to start off in the bar with uh, Kathy talking to us. Because, uh. like, because then we can be, like, talking to her and, like, constant and start interacting more. Because it felt like, honestly, the first, like, 30 minutes was us just sort of sitting there, like, and you just talking, going, like, okay, this, this, and this happens. And we're like, okay, I smoke a cigarette. Like, and then nothing, we couldn't really interact properly. Mm-hmm. Um, after, um, the bar scene, that, it was perfect. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I, (laughs) I'm going to end the recording, um, and I'll talk to you guys, uh, as soon as I end it about some other things quick, um, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Sure. All right. Thanks. Um, bye everybody.